All right, I'm gonna give you a quick rundown on, um, cause you've probably heard me talk a lot about Petro One and, and you've probably been hearing a lot about Petro One and you might be like, what the heck is that? Give you a quick breakdown on what it is. So right now the, the global standard is based on a Petro dollar uh, global standard, which is the US dollar, which means whenever you go to a, a different country, the US dollar is going to have far greater value. And so our dollar is going to have more value in that country. A Petro One, uh, 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 Pet I'm sorry, a Petro One global standard is is that same idea of oil having, um, you know, having that that shaping the global standard, but instead of the U.S. dollar being a part of that, it's the yuan, it's the Chinese yuan. So Petro Dollar is right now the global standard. It's the U.S. dollar. Petro One is the Chinese yuan. And what that means is in order to have that Petro One as the global standard, the U.S. dollar needs to fall. And that's what's happening right now in our stock markets is the U.S. dollar is being destroyed and oil is not going to be affected because oil is still going to be carried over. But we have a bunch of oil benefactors and we have a bunch of um, grifters and U.S. corporations who have decided that the U.S. dollar is no longer to be valued. The American buyer is no longer to be valued. The USA is no longer to be valued. And they are giving all their loyalty to China so that the Chinese yuan becomes the new global standard. The problem with this, now some people are going to look at that and say, yeah, you know, that that's deserved because um, the U.S. has just been, you know, manipulating all these other countries. Um, you know, they've been exploiting all these other countries and they're going to get what they deserve problem with this is that it's China. And China always cheats with um, loopholes. They have vague contracts that they use, and there's always a loophole you need to watch out for. In this case, it's the foreign investment law that China passed in March 2018, which has a nation forbidden list loophole that says China has full control of the markets. They can shut out any nation's investor of their choice who is not loyal to China. And if you look at China's um, government structure, the um, communist structure, where there is strict monitoring in order to force people to be ethical, or at least ethical, under the guidelines of Chairman Xi, we see that he punishes free will and he uh, punishes any kind of religious practices. We can see this in his rules um, that would get you put into an education reform. So the Petro Wan scam, or the Petro Wan gold scam, is this idea that we crash the US dollar um, while everybody is in this chaotic state of, of, of a virus happening. We can um, cut the supply lines of China so that will allow the US corporations factories that have a bad reputation in China that are getting kicked out of China since they have increased their regulations, laws, and all that kind of stuff, move them over to the United States. And China now becomes the controller of the global currency of the global markets with that foreign, uh, I'm sorry, the forbidden nation list loophole in their foreign investment law. Now that's, that's bad enough. But then you look at the BRI, which is how they were able to woo the insurance companies. They were able to woo the central banks. They were able to woo the global leaders all over the world. We look at that part of it, and then we see that there is a... Um, technocracy. There's a digital silk road attached to that. So not only are we going to have China controlling the global markets and the global currency standard, they would also control all of our cyber tech industries. So they would have the secure, you know, everybody talks about the cyber security. No one's looking in China, but China is the one that is trying to monopolize that entire industry of AI, internet of things and robotics and, you know, the whole thing, the clouds, the software and the hardware. So that's what's happening right now. And a lot of people are like, communists, communists, communists. We are giving global communism control to China if we continue down this Petro Wan gold path. Now, who is responsible for it? Well, aside from Chairman Xi and Russia, Putin, because um, Xi and Putin allied together in 2013, we have at the helm a fraudulent real estate investor named Jared Kushner who, um, if you have been tracking his investment opportunities since before the inauguration, you would see that he gets bailed out financially from, um, usually from Black Blackstone. Um, he is involved in the Anbang scandal that he wanted to buy the Waldorf. He wanted to buy the 666 Manhattan Tower. Um, that Anbang insurance scandal allowed um, Zai to seize control of the company. And now he is... Uh, 
basically dumping all of his uh, skyscrapers in the United States. They're on sale. And so when you look around the um, real estate markets, you're going to see all of this happening. But at the helm of that Petro One Gold currency scam is Kushner, who has zero foreign policy experience, is now put in charge of the coronavirus with zero medical experience, and he has been defrauding the United States with these real estate scams, wooing these um these investors going to Saudi Arabia and the, and the summit with uh, vulture capitalist Mnuchin and convincing them that Petro One gold is the best thing for everybody. But remember, there's that loophole that will allow China to control everything. And the foreign investment markets, it doesn't matter whether you're national markets or, or foreign, um, foreign financial markets, I don't think you'd be able to get away with all the stuff that you get away with now if you have the Republic of China monitoring every single thing that you do under Chairman Xi's standard that punishes free will and religious opportunities. So we have a choice. Are we going to allow this Petro One gold scam to continue and bow down to a communist China philosophy because that's what's going to happen? Um, dictators never share, so Russia is already betraying Saudi Arabia with the OPEC oil. And Xi will portray Putin with uh, Russia with all his other stuff because that moral financial law system punishes all the troll factories. So we have a choice. Is this what we want? Do we want the Petro One gold standard? Or are we going to come back to the United States, let that be the U.S. dollar um, currency global standard, allow the Americans to deal with our corruption that's going on right now, because right now we're in a, a, a corporate monarchy, which has peaked because once everybody is doing something, that same thing, usually with trend cycles, it's on its way out the door. So we peaked at this corruption that began in 1969. It's going to go out the door. We're going to get it under control. We're going to get the grifters out of the White House. We're going to get the grifters out of the uh, out of Congress. But we can't do that if we're all living under communist China with the Petro One gold standard. So the world, it's your choice. You decide what you want to do. This is what's going to happen. These are the patterns. Do you want to bow down to Chairman Xi and get rid of all your religious practices? He punishes praying. He punishes fasting. He punishes everything. Or are we going to come together, get some sensibility back, Realize that this is not good for us, allowing the dictators to control the world, and the 99% of the world population come together and we save our world from destruction. It's your choice. That's the trends. That's the market trends. That's the big data analytic trends. I got to go study for an exam. It's an ITE exam. So I'm actually learning the, the jargon of, of things that I actually do so I can sound intelligent, I guess. But that's the choice. You decide.